Get ready with me for my best friend's Halloween party. And the story time on what I tell you happened this week at school. But basically, this happened in a seventh period. Okay, so basically, I had a sub on Tuesday in my seventh period. And it was the end of class. There was like three seconds, five seconds, seven seconds left. And me and my friend take the bus, right? So I was checking on that time to ring because as soon as the bell rings, like we run to the bus, you know, because like we want to get good seats. And basically, I was checking the time because my friend wanted to just leave class, like so she could get on the bus early. And I was like, no, it's risky because the teacher is looking at us. So I just told her, there's like four seconds left, just wait, like the bell's about to ring. After that, um, I basically got yelled at. So I was told to put my phone away or I was going to be sent to H209, which is like, um, I see. And I was like, what? Like, there's two seconds of class left. How are you going to send me to H209? But I didn't argue back. I was just like, whatever. And I didn't have pockets. I was wearing leggings and a shirt. I did not have pockets. So I've been carrying my phone in my hand around the whole day, which... And I was told, I said, I don't have pockets, so I'm just holding it. And I was told, well, put it in your backpack. Guys, there was like two seconds of class left. So this made me, it made me mad. And I was like, well, whatever, because she was already yelling at me. So I told my friend, put my phone in, in my backpack. But the bell rang, so I was like, well, give me my phone. And she gave me it, and I ran to the bus, and that the teacher had yelled, take it, I see. Guys, when you take your phone up to IC, they take it for the school day. It was seventh period, and she was telling me that I was going to have to leave it till after school. And I'm going to do my lip combo right now because I'm in a rush. But anyways, so then the next day, my teacher comes back to school. My mom gets a phone call from the school, and I thought they were going to tell her that the bus had broke down because it did. No, it's the office lady telling my mom that I was being rude, disrespectful, and talking back to the sub. And this is when I was like, what the? So I obviously, you know, I asked, can you put the teacher on the line and tell, let me tell her my side of the story? And then so I told her everything that happened, like um, how I didn't talk back and anything, you know, this girl tells me it's not only that that you did. And I already got half of the class that confirmed that you were misbehaving. Who? Go to part two because I'm running out of time. Welcome to part two. Anyways, my friend had told me that she never asked the class for confirmation. She just told them that there were students misbehaving and all that. So, obviously, I was mad because now this girl's lying to the school. She's lying to my mom. My mom was on, is on my side, obviously, because they've never complained to her. Your daughter's disrespecting it. No, because I'm not like that. So then, the teacher was just saying, I'm going to leave a note in her name and I'm going to put that she's disrespectful and rude and all this. You know that affects me, right? So my mom was mad and she was not putting up with this. She want she wants to make a meeting with the teacher, right? I don't even think she got back to her. And guess what I found out? Her and the sub are their best friends. Now I get that, cause when I tell my best friend a story, best believe I'ma exaggerate exaggerate the f out of that story. You know, like I'ma go out above and beyond and I'ma tell her, yeah. So this, you know, like exaggerate. So basically, the sub had exaggerated me doing all that stuff when in reality i never talked back to her and none of that and my brother was like are you sure like are you are you lying and i was like no i didn't talk back to her then i told my brother who the sub was and he was like oh yeah she was my avid teacher she did the same thing to me about the time in my freshman year so now i'm just like girl bye and i was telling the girls in my class today because i haven't seen none of them because I, I haven't even went in that class because i've been so busy and they're all telling me that she never said none of that and apparently she called more girls um parents but in reality i think she just called mine because there's a girl that was on the phone and got more in trouble than me but i don't think they said anything so now that's just not fair and i was telling the girls and i was saying it in spanish because i didn't want her in my business because she just gets in your business no offense like i was barely like getting like used to her and she was like are you guys still talking about the subject or are you guys talking about something else i'm talking about something else anyways friendship red flags i shouldn't have ignored i was friends with this girl from sophomore year of high school we are not friends anymore during our junior year of high school people would walk up to me and tell me she's not your friend she talked about you i'd ignore them because i was like she would never do that we'll call her angelina 
These allegations kept going on for months now. I'd sweep them under the rug. Her mom came to pick us up from school one day and something just fell off. So I grabbed her phone and went to messages and typed my name in the search bar. So many messages appeared of Angelina just completely bashing my character with another girl that didn't like me for no reason. In these messages, Angelina was saying how I was annoying, she didn't like me, and she hated the fact that we had a class together. I started shaking and pretended everything was fine. I was fully in my people pleaser era at this time and was so desperate for a friend. Angelina would get into a relationship, she'd act like I never existed and only come around when her and the boy that she was dating at the time were having problems. We even stopped being friends during a period of time during senior year because Angelina wanted to focus on her relationship and being my best friend was too much. This went on until we graduated high school. Angelina and I did a lot together. We'd have sleepovers, she'd come over, my family threw her a surprise birthday party. She knew a lot about my family's dirty laundry because my family saw her like family. They truly adored her and thought that we'd be friends forever. She knew that I was going through a very hard time and that my family was going through a very hard time as well. We truly let her in so I could have only imagined the stuff she was saying about me behind closed doors to other people. During COVID, Angelina had talked to a friend about how she didn't want to be friends with me anymore. She felt like we had nothing in common. So we met up at the park to talk and I cried because I genuinely thought this girl was my best friend but it was a one-sided friendship. At this time, I was going through my first breakup finding out I was cheated on which she knew. So this was the last thing that I needed. I told her I fully understood and we could go our separate ways. Angelina then felt bad and said she wanted to work on the friendship. We'd talk from time to time, but it was so forced. She'd only hit me up when her and her boyfriend were having problems, never would ask me how I was doing, so I was just done with this girl at this point. We didn't talk for a year and a half, and every friend that Angelina had talked about me to, she was back best friends with. I ignored it because I wanted to see how she was doing. I reached out, she came over, and as soon as Angelina came over, she started telling my family how she was at HOE now, and she wished that I was single so we could be out in these streets together. And she pulls out her phone and shows my mom and I a tape that she had of herself on the internet. Which girl, all power to you, but don't be showing my mama that. My mom was flabbergasted. My jaw dropped. She had then told me how she cheated on the guy that she was seeing. This just wasn't the same person that I knew, and to each their own, people have the right to change. Angelina then goes to tell me how she felt I thought she was fake because she was back best friends with the girl she used to talk about me to. And I tried brushing it off, just holding on to the little hope that I had left with tears pouring down from my eyes. No judgment. I genuinely was just so happy to see her again. After our little reunion, I tried reaching out, but it was just the same thing all over again. Angelina had completely ignored me. So I sent her a message just saying how I would never reach out to her again. I wished her all the best in life and God bless her. It was one of our mutual friend's birthdays and I had told her happy birthday. I was supposed to go to her birthday brunch. I was disinvited. And I go to check on Instagram. These girls are completely throwing shade at me, just clowning me, trying to make fun of my relationship did anything to these girls especially the birthday girls so i was shocked you don't know my man and my man doesn't know you he is an innocent bystander and i should have listened to him when he said babe do not reconnect with that girl she does not look like a good person and she's going to hurt you like she did the first time i swiped up and said wow it seems like some people never change from high school and you both are still the same i knew when we were younger Locked them on everything until this day they're both still blocked and that's where they'll stay i cried because i just didn't understand why not talk to me and tell me straight up that you didn't want to be friends anymore we could have ended things in a civil manner i didn't deserve that angelina still had my mom on instagram so i saw that she was back best friends with all the people that i used to be friends with lena was just fake not a true friend not a good friend and i just saw her true colors truly had to understand no matter what you do people will eventually show you how they feel about you my mom told me you'll keep going to the same situations until you learn the value of your self-worth so let this be a lesson that you never forget i sadly did learn my lesson the hard way but at least i learned wish angelina all the best but we will never be friends again fool me one time shame on you fool me twice shame on me just know that you deserve genuine friends and people in your life that'll love you for who you truly are